Well, who's missing Materia? Oh, Cloud is. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I was I, I switched their stuff out a little bit because spoiler. Oh, okay. Hi, everybody. How are you? Um, Castlevania is a good show. Go watch it on Netflix now. No. What if I don't want to watch it? Please. What's in it for me? Uh, you'll get a great viewing experience. That's not good enough, Jason. What? That's not good enough? No, it's not. I, I, I'm gonna need. You're gonna have to promise me more than that. Uh, you don't have to work for while you're watching it. I don't have to. What? You don't have to work on anything while you watch it. You can relax. But I can do that with anything. You're not really selling me here. So wait, you relax when you work? What? Do you relax when you work? Depends on what kind of work I'm doing. <laughs> You're not making any sense here, Jason. You're not making any sense. Okay, just reflecting me saying you're not making any sense does not at all support your argument of the fact that you are not making sense. <laughs> nah. -uh. I bet you're going to hit me with a, no, you! <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, I hit you with like a blunted version of it. It was lame. Yes. I wielded the bat of lame. You're having fun with this intro, folks? Yeah, this is the greatest intro we've ever had. What are you talking about, Andrew? I like Barrett better without his glasses, I think. Nah, the glasses made him look like a G. I mean, he looks good both with and without them, but I guess it's because I'm so used to seeing with him with glasses, it's nice to see, like, a cool alternative. Yeah, that's fair, but the glasses still made him look like a straight G. Ooh, 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 rumblies. But if he's not a straight G, then what is he? Uh, a bent F. Hmm, wait, is there something here? No. Just, just, just destruction. Tifa, and come on, let's go, babe. You say as you push away from her. Well, look, none of the characters here are properly coordinated. They're they're bumping into each other all the time. Not to mention all the times that Tifa like forces me to like not go places while she just because she has to go first. Uh, Cloud, where are you going? We gotta go this way. Oh wait, wait, is there anything here? That's a good question. No, there isn't. It's just more rubble. Andrew, is there anything in this underground section that's well, not Well, I don't rubble? remember. Like, I gotta... I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. Hello! Barrett. Hi! Barrett. Is anyone alive? Well, we just Hey, that light's some. still working. That's the light from the... From up there. No, it was a light attached to a telephone pole that was smashed on the ground. Come on. Oh, it's the feather duster. Make room. Oh, come on. Cloud could lift this by himself. Okay. One, two, three. And then Cloud drops it like halfway. Ah! Oh, oh. So, oh, dude, my fingers are killing me. Yo, how is she not like just paralyzed on the floor? Well, because it didn't crush her enough. Uh, yeah, okay, that's fair. I can't tell you how relieved I am to see you. I can't... <laughs> what? Oh, man, I just want to take her feather duster head and just, just clean the whole just district. Just grab her by the head and... Grab her by the neck something. and then just dust stuff. Yeah, just dust stuff. Maybe you should go take a look. That's like borderline head pushing. <laughs> You know what a head pusher is, right? Okay. Is it for blowjobs? Uh, yes. <laughs> Don't Sex. be a head pusher. It's rude. Unless you're into that. The, the, unless the person on the receiving end is into that, then I guess... I guess be pushed Hello? away. Hi! If you can hear me, say something. Honestly, I'm just surprised that... This whole place is not uh, uh, completely on fire right now. It's only partially on fire. Well, it was a it was a giant plate. The plate itself wasn't like Yeah, but like 
with the force that it would land and the energy that it would generate from the the impact, it would send shockwaves and fire everywhere. It would well, torch not, this whole place. Well, it wouldn't send fire. It might cause something that that would cause a fire. It might blow something up that would cause a fire. Yeah, and there's no one it, and, in and of itself. It doesn't cause a fire. Yeah, and there's no one here to fight those fires, so the fire should just spread. Well, there's not a lot of plant life around. There's no. Is this the bar? Or stuff that's flammable. Yep. Rip the booze. How do they know it's the bar? Well, cause they, it's the area. They oh. can tell from the area. Shit. What? Poopy. What shit? Barrett. He's trying to recover what he can. Barrett looks down at a broken glass bottle. The label! I got the label! We're gonna remember that we had this bar, okay? This liquor. They'll refund us somewhere, right? We gotta follow the pussy. <laughs> they, they that's true. That, that's that's my motto. Always Ready. follow the pussy. Oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't be a simp. Unless... Yeah, no. Don't be a simp. You're better than that. Whose house is this that hasn't been completely caved in? Um. Is this all that's left of Wedge's place? Oh no, Wedge. Maybe. Wedge, this was where you were, uh, right? For all we know, uh. Is it true that cats eat dead bodies? Like if the owner dies in the apartment alone, well, a dog, a, a, a dog will eat your body, too, if you're dead, because it recognizes your meat, but it will wait longer than a cat. I don't believe that. Yeah, no. Yeah. I don't believe that. Well, you think that... I don't believe Teddy and Ellie would eat me even if I was dead. I mean, they'll wait a couple days just to make sure, but no. yeah. Maybe certain species of dogs, breeds, maybe, but, but I don't know. Like I don't I, believe I, it. Either, I could be wrong, but I, either way, from what I heard, that cats, like as oh, soon look, as you're wedge. dead, cats will immediately just start nibbling away. They'll be like, "Oh, hey, food." So if you see me like randomly pausing and then coming back, it's because my dogs are barking and I and we have to stop for, for a second. Sorry about that. Oh, he's got like the three materia like wow. slots in his in his gun. Where are they? On, hey! on the top. You see? Oh, yeah. They're really small, though. If her search scope appears, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I know the drill. Motorboat that rubble. I actually really like this part of the game. Why? Because I get to play as Barrett. Barrett's fun. Hmm. Yeah, I won't. I won't. Uh, won't and if you notice that, that uh, the characters have more materia slots, it's because I, I bought some new um, equipment for them. Bam, 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 bam. Oh bam. damn! Oh oh, they're very gone. Oh, I should actually. Yeah, I, I put assess on Barrett because I knew uh... he was gonna be alone. Yeah. I also equipped him with elemental materia linked with ice because there are gonna be enemies weak to that that we're gonna encounter. Smart, smart. Hey, aren't those boxes up there that you can destroy? Yeah, but first you gotta kill the. Kill these guys so that you could properly aim. Oh, that's I a can. lot of boxes too. I gotta say, my favorite ability in the game. Ooh, you did some big dick damage, my friend. Can I? No, you you can destroy these boxes. Come on, Barrett, shoot. Come on, Barrett. Oh, uh, maybe I gotta wait for the game to tell me that I can do that. You can br break those boxes with Barrett. You really want to throw down with me? But when? Damn, dude, you're just trucking through these things. Well, those things are weak. I know, but still. Are we, Barrett? Hmm. 
Yep. You ever, uh... <clears throat> Did I ever what? Uh, like, like mo motorboat um, someone's belly to tickle them. Someone's what? Belly to tickle them. Uh, I think when I was really young, my mom used to do that to me, but uh, I don't think I've done that to someone's If belly. anyone in the comments section, section takes that in an inappropriate turn, I'm going to be very disappointed in you. Shame on you. It's very innocent. I will say, though, that I did and and still often like to, for fun, make, make so many different noises and sounds whenever, like, I'm bored or trying to, like... Okay, so it's in one of two conditions. Condition number one is I pick up one of my only two Legos, which are both ships, and I make them fly around, and I make... Noises, you know, like, you know, jet engines and whatnot. Um... The Jason, other, the other Jason, prompt. Jason. What? I'm sorry to tell you, but I make the best la laser noises and ship noises in history. No, you don't. Yes, I do. Amateur. Amateur. You having fun, folks? <laughs> That's just a motorcycle. Oh, was that a motorcycle? I thought that was that, that was just you being constipated. Uh, uh, no, that was me being constipated. You see, it was one decibel higher. Get some better ears, Andrew. No. No, you're just you're in denial, Jason. Oh no, but I used to love just <coughs> the uh, playing like with my Legos for hours on end. It was all Star Wars Legos too. So I would I would make my own missions. Spe yeah, speaking of Star Wars, what, what, what was the, the recent Star Wars game, Fallen Order? Yeah, what about it? Okay. It's Star Wars and Dark Souls put together two of your favorite things in the world. Yes. And you still haven't finished it. No. Why? Uh, various reasons, Andrew. Can I? Thank you. I, I don't understand you. All right, well, I love Star Wars because Star Wars is Star Wars. And I love Dark Souls because Dark Souls is this, like, medieval... It punishes you and you deserve it. Mm, well, I mean, among other things, Daddy. Deep down, you know uh, you deserve to be punished. Well... That's uh, why you like it. Well, Daddy, among other things. Um, one of the reasons why I like Dark Souls is because it's a medieval fantasy that allows you to highly customize your character and playstyle. You do not get the same kind of treatment in Jedi Fallen Order, which is fine, I understand. Because they treat Jedi Fallen Order more like a adventure game than they do in RPG. Um, but I would have liked Jedi Fallen Order to be more Dark Souls in that regard. I would have liked to see, you know multiple different outfits and armors. There that, are different out, whoa, whoa, whoa. different ponchos, actually. Can I, can I? Let me finish. Outfits and armors that have stats, <laughs> too. Like, you wear heavy armor, you're slower, but you take less damage when you get hit. You wear lighter armor, you're faster, but you take more damage when you get hit. Or you'll take regular damage when you get hit, you know? Like, I wanted something like that. So where... you wanted it to be more complicated? No, honestly, you know what I wanted? I kind of just wanted... And by complicated, I don't really mean that in a bad way, in like a negative way. I, Well, you know what? Even it, though usually complicated is usually used as a bad thing. But you know what? Dark Souls isn't even that complicated. All the armors just require more balance. That's all. All armors and weapons. Okay, so another thing as well. I'm fine with the fact that you only get one lightsaber and then you repair it later. I'm fine with that. Spoiler. Oh, come on. It's the smallest spoiler in the world. And besides, the game's been out for, like, almost a year? No, the smallest spoiler in the world is, at at this point in time, is that Snape kills Dumbledore. Well, that's a Or, no, actually, no. What's even smaller than that, uh, Luke Skywalker is uh, Darth Vader's son. Yeah, sure. Anywho. Um, Can this thing stop giving me a blowjob? No, it's very hungry. Um, 
Well, I mean, who wouldn't be hungry so for barrels So I'm, f I'm, I'm fine with the fact that you only have one weapon throughout the game and you can just change the color and the design. I would have preferred if the different designs give you different stats. That would have been nice. So it's kind of like having your own weapon. But backtracking, you know what I would have really liked if what uh, for Jedi Fallen Order to be? Batman. Knights of the Old Republic 3. If it was Knights of the Old Republic 3, I think it would have been perfect. I, I saw you grab on t to the puffer of the mic. Like, sorry, but like, I, I, I guess because I don't know, you, you got so intimate into the topic, like <laughs> I decided to let go. Like, I don't know. I just thought it was weird. Like I glanced over it and you, and like, a, as you were making your point, you like, you grabbed on, onto the, the, the spit guard puffer, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, <laughs> Yeah, sure. I don't know. Like you were, you were making a very intimate point. <laughs> well, I, I mean, I, I, I like Star, I love Star Wars, and I love Knights of the Republic. And in fact, just from this conversation alone, I'm probably going to end up re-downloading Knights of the Republic at some point and playing it again. Because... What about Fallen Order? Like, I, I, I was so proud of myself that I beat it on. What's the hardest difficulty called? Grand Jedi Master. Grand Master. Yeah, I beat it on that mode, even though there were billions of times I was so tempted to change it back because I was frustrated. But I'm like, wow, this is like the closest thing to a Dark Souls game I'm going to beat. Yeah. And like, I was excited to see you play it, and you're just like, oh, no. Well, I mean, consider the fact that in Dark Souls, the difficulty only gets up every time, goes up rather, every time you beat the game. And there's no bringing it back down. So... It's like Dark Souls on easy mode. If you choose it to be. If you even even to be. then, like, you, you know what? It's not fair for me to say one way or the other because I didn't actually play the game. Like, watching you play it and actually playing it no, with the Andrew, controller in my hand is different. Andrew, what are you talking about? You beat the whole game. You beat the, 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 the best boss in the game, the Asylum Demon. Don't you remember? Remember that guy? No, Oswald, the the evil wizard dude that was yeah, dressed Oswald. up as a as a as a knight and, or something in the yeah, beginning, you, and he gives and he him. gives you a Eustace flask in the beginning. Yeah, you killed him. Muriel. Ah, uh, that's it. I'm getting me mallet. Yeah, no, yeah, you oh, beat the you beat Eustace. the you beat the uh the hardest boss in the game. So, oh, no, what are you Eustace. talking about? Don't say a oh, damn Eustace. word. Oh, Eustace. <laughs> Eustace. Oh no. Muriel! Eustace! No! It's Muriel! Ah! Uh, <laughs> you know, I... Yeah, what, what is it? Rule 34? Rule 37? I, I tried to look that up from Muriel and, and Eustace, and all I could find was Muriel, was fan art of Muriel wearing nothing but an apron. Have you... And then the comment was like, damn, she thick! Have you... Did you search by their names or did you search by the show they're from and it's rule 34 but by, by their names you should search by the the show they're from so i should look up courage the cowardly cowardly dog porn yes but i think the way rule 34 works is you would type in courage underscore the underscore cowardly underscore dog this is very important information that everyone needs to know no, you don't need to know it. In fact, you should probably forget it because it'd probably be safer for you to do that. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. Jason, like, st stop trying to bar the truth from people. If that's even, like, the, the correct phrase. The government puts fluoride in the water. Fluoride! Wait, what? Fluoride! They put fluoride in the water! I don't know what you're talking about, dude. You don't know that there's fluoride in the water? Andrew, what kind of anarchist are you that you don't know the government secrets? Am I an anarchist? Now you are. Duh! Duh! Well, I mean, technically you're playing uh, the leader of a terrorist organization, so there's that. Yeah, there is that. Hmm. This hurt? Oh. I thought her hair blew in the wind as I was shooting, but oh yeah, it is a little bit, but I don't know. Is there wind here? Well, there were fans, but like, and they're kind of just staring at each other now, like. You know, 
I gotta say. They're just kind of staring at each other. I've like, been really lonely ever since I lost my wife. And Marlene could use a mommy. So, uh... Did you know Barrett had a wife? Did, did he? I don't know. Next time on Dynamite Bros. I'm just taking a guess. 